So, where do you want this? Hey now, <laughs> I ordered a new copier. This is better than new, my friend. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, what do we have here? Enlarges too. Holy moly! <laughs> Even Kool-Aid! I'll take it. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Hey, it's not plugged in. Hey, no, wait, no. Welcome you two to another comedy video. This is about uh, daily routine I go through every single day. So this story pertains to the last week, week and a half of uh, stuff that I've been going through. Incident number one, um, had a day I'm on the train, going to the Bronx. There's an empty seat in front of me. Uh, there's a woman sitting beside the empty seat. And of course, I go to sit down. She puts her foot out trips me, and wants to go flying into the crowd in front of me, and man grabbed me, and I looked at the woman, she didn't say nothing, she didn't explain why she did that, just being a dickhead. Incident number two, same train, different day, sitting down, all these rug rat kids jumping around like maniacs, being crazy. Almost smacking me in the head, laughing, giggling. I swear to God, I wanted to kill them. A couple of times they smacked me in the head. They were jumping on the poles above me. I'm sitting here and they're looking up and they're, they're jumping above me. Crazy. Um, incident number three. Getting on the train with my cart. I accidentally hit the man on his foot. And I sit down. He goes, uh, well, are you going to apologize? I apologize for what? I said you hit, so he said to me, "Oh, uh, you hit my foot with your car." I said, "Okay." He said, "That's all you're gonna say is okay." I said, "Well, I didn't mean to hit your foot. It was an accident." So he gave me dirty looks the whole time until he got off. So that's three right there in a matter of a couple of days. And every day I gotta deal with dickheads. Every single day on these trains, people are nutty. There, there's something wrong with them. Um, but you know, every day I got to deal with, um, not only that, customers, people bitching, people screaming, um, just, just the other day, went to a machine in the school, went to go service the machine, customers complaining the machine is a lemon, the machine has two and a half million copies, he's complaining it's a lemon. Them, yeah, okay, lady, do you know what the term lemon means? He said, you don't make no copies and you don't get anything done with it. You wouldn't have two million, two and a half million copies if it was a lemon. So, seems like there's something in the universe, something in the air, that seems to bring out these people and they seem to come to me. Uh, so, I hope you appreciate the story, or stories. But there's more coming, and uh, until next time, peace.